I'm Katherine Gordon. Welcome to the Sugar Freedom Channel, where I'm sharing my recovery from obesity and sugar addiction. My road to obesity was paved with sugar, and one of the first indications that I was going to have trouble with sugar came when I got eczema when I was very, very young. Some of my earliest memories are of those itchy red patches that were all over my body. One of the things that I have discovered is that eczema has a connection to glucose intolerance and carbohydrates. But here's the deal. It hasn't been studied a great deal. As a matter of fact, I paid more than $40 to get a copy of a study that was done in 1927. I have another copy of a study, which I will share the link to. All we really have is the abstract that was done in the 70s. So we have this huge gap. There was the study from the 20s, a study in the 70s, both of these studies indicated there was a connection between glucose intolerance and eczema. The more recent study that was done in the 70s tested a number of patients and found that they didn't clear glucose as quickly as normal patients did, which demonstrated that there was a connection between glucose intolerance and eczema. But the study that was done in the 20s, and I will share some paragraphs from the study on my website, this study was even more compelling. The relation of carbohydrate metabolism to eczema, an experimental study by B. Usher, MD from Montreal, Canada. I'll just share a little bit with you. For many years, it has been believed that eczema may be associated with a disturbed carbohydrate metabolism. For example, it has been noted that in some patients who have both eczema and diminished tolerance for sugar, the former condition improved or disappeared entirely following the institution of low carbohydrate diets. So I'm going to link to some of this on my website, katherinetraining.com. Also on that website, I have shared my three day sugar strike, which is my three day sugar detox that I wrote way back in 2012. So it's kind of bittersweet talking about sugar to realize that there was an understanding way back in the 1920s that there was a connection between sugar tolerance, eczema, and that a low carbohydrate diet could actually help heal eczema. Now, I suspect there are a lot of people out there who wish that they had known that if their children had eczema or if they had eczema, that they might be able to treat it with a low carbohydrate diet. Once again, I remember very well the silver tube of steroid cream and how that cream used to relieve the itching and the pain I was experiencing. But what's interesting is that that steroid cream, and one of the reasons why you had to get it from a doctor, you had to get it with a prescription, is because it actually affected the HPA axis. So that steroid cream, the action that was anti-inflammatory, the action that took away the itch, also had an effect on the HPA axis. That association is a little bit complex for me to share with you here, but I will link to another study that demonstrates that link between steroid creams and the HPA axis. The other thing that's very important is that I was a very small child when I was using, or my mom was using, the steroid cream. The eczema patches were on large parts of my body and we probably were using too much cream. Now here's how it's connected to glucose intolerance and sugar addiction and obesity down the line, is that when we affect the HPA axis, we also affect metabolism and hormone response. So it's all connected. And it's pretty amazing to see that it went all the way back to when I was just two or three or four years old, and that also the understanding of the connection between glucose intolerance sugar intolerance, eczema, and a low carbohydrate diet goes back almost 100 years. But once again, the good news is, is that we have this evidence that a low carbohydrate, sugar-free diet can help. And by the way, there are studies that are being run right now as we speak to study this connection between sugar, glucose intolerance, and eczema. So new information is gonna be coming out very soon. But in the meantime, it's good to know we've got this old 1925 study. So I do hope that you'll check my website, katherinetraining.com, whether it's to get the three-day sugar detox or take a closer look at some of these studies. Be well, eat for yourself, and come back soon to the Sugar Freedom Channel.